hello guys welcome to or welcome back to a brand new video and a brand new vlog this week is my first full week not in my house so i've been here for three nights i am back with my mom um i'm not gonna lie i keep saying like short term but i'm loving it like i am loving being here i've got my little desk here i've got my cute little bed i've got my dressing table set up like I'm loving it and for those who have maybe seen my mum's house in previous vlogs it is the most wholesome aesthetic house I just I love it um this is what I can currently see this is my mum's garden and then this is the field at the end it's just so nice although British weather does make me question whether the UK is the right decision. I am thinking of other alternatives. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna get into a bit of a routine. Um, obviously, for those who have been catching up, I have sold my house. So with that, I've just been really sorting out my finances, investments, savings, all that kind of stuff. Um, because as somebody that does have a little bit of a history of poor money management, I really wanted to make sure that obviously when I did sell this house that I didn't make the same mistakes again and just really make sure that I'm viewing it with a mature head. Um, so I feel really, really good. I've just been doing so much life admin, changing addresses, updating things, um, canceling bills, updating car insurance, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I feel like I'm kind of at the end of the life admin road, which is good. Um, I've had my breakfast, I have got up and semi got ready. I've just been using literally two products every single day at the moment and that is the Super Goop Glow Screen. It is incredible. It's just an SPF like skin tint but it leaves your face looking. I mean, you can see. And then um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. I honestly feel like they would be my ride or die like desert island products. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and push myself to go for a walk in the rain. It's not looking great, but sometimes you just gotta push yourself and do things you don't wanna do. I also have my therapy session at two, um, which I'm really, really enjoying. So, although it has been hard to do all the homework just with like moving and stuff, but I've tried to do as much as I can. Also, little manifestation hack. So I got this book, I'm using cash as a bookmark because it's reminding me every single day that I'm wealthy and that I'm abundant and it's great and I've also got if you guys saw in the last video I've also got my little marshmallow Amy's got the other one and then I did cave and I bought Amelie um the marshmallows too so me and Amelie are gonna have a little marshmallow each too because I knew that she'd want them um so yeah that is the plan I'm also going to Manchester this week to view some apartments on Thursday and also stay with Lucy because she's actually moved into the apartment block that I've been looking at moving into anyway. So I have an appointment on Thursday, although the actual like type of apartment that I want to move to isn't like, they're not vacant yet and um, they are available to hold, but they're just not available to view. Um, so I'm going to view some similar ones. I'm going to have a couple days in Manchester with Luce, um, which I'm really looking forward to and just... I guess testing the waters this year for me is all about trying things seeing if I like them having that year to myself and my like personal growth I guess um so yeah I'm just gonna test it for a few days and just see obviously I know I'm not gonna get a full overview as to whether I absolutely love it but I'm still gonna get the gist and an instant feeling of like whether this could be home and just getting my morning coffee on a morning that kind of stuff so that is the plan. I'm going to take you guys along with me for this week. <sighs> but I've done the gym. It's currently 8 o'clock. We're all done. I'm going to go grab a coffee. I've also got a little squares bar, but I think I'm going to save this. Um, we're going to go grab a coffee, head back, and then today I'm actually going to Manchester. So I'm going to bring you guys along with that. We're going to pack, get ready, go to my nail appointment, and then go to Manchester. And then we have apartment viewings tomorrow. But there's not too much on the agenda other than just getting organized today. So I'll bring you along.
Good morning guys. It is now Thursday morning. I've had a lovely sleep. I stayed at Lucy's last night. Um, look at this view. How cute. It looks obviously a lot better at night, I'm not gonna lie, but we've just got ready. Freya's here as well. I didn't actually vlog anything yesterday. I think I was just a bit, like I traveled and then I'd just seen the girls. So I, yeah, I forgot to vlog a little bit yesterday, but I'm just getting ready. We're going to head down for a coffee. I've got a little bit of work to do at 10. But I think it's literally only 7am. Um, so we just got ready. Let's go to centre parks today. How cool. I'm going to centre parks. For work. Look at this bouncy blow. No, it looks amazing. I want to learn. Anyway. Look at us. In our pinkness. Um, we're going to go do some work now. Lucy's not actually been on the vlog. Hi. I'm saying it, Lucy's. Um, nah, I look like Albert Einstein with this hairstyle. I need to sort that out, but that's okay. I'll do that in a second. Um, no worries. But we're going to go do some work for an hour. And then, what are we going to do? And then, we're going to go view apartments. Woo! I'm also like just borrowing everything of Lucy's, including her book. Because my therapist told me to read it. So I am. But I can't cope with this hair. What on earth is going on? So yeah, that is the plan. Got my book that I borrowed from Lucy. Um, I have a habit of borrowing books from Lucy. Hi Lucy. I'm just in the little working area. So then just did some apartment viewings. Now this one is a little bit bigger than the one that I would be looking at, but at the moment I am just keeping my options open. Um, there aren't any available at the moment that I actually like or that fit my like criteria, I guess. So we are still on the hunt. So a little update on the apartment viewings. I didn't actually get to view like this exact apartment type, which is the one that I want. I managed to view one that was a lot bigger, but a lot more expensive. And one that was a lot smaller, which just, I feel like when you are paying like this much, they're not cheap in these towers. I just feel like you want it to be like as perfect as it can be. And currently with like my requirements and like the type of kitchen that I want, the view that I want, the floor and the fact that I want it furnished and the tower, it obviously it's a little bit harder for them to be available. So I've let her know like I'm not in a massive rush. If it does come up, perfect. Um, in the next few months but if not again it's okay so that's kind of where I'm at in terms of like apartment viewings I love it um and I love like working in here I love the vibes in here but I don't know what it is I don't know if it's just today because we had some bad news in the family and maybe I'm feeling a bit deflated I don't know I just normal me gets so excited by these kind of things and I like want to jump into it I want it yesterday like I'm excited I start imagining myself living here and I've not really had that and I don't know if it's because I'm coming from such like a calm place where I just feel like chill in general because of like the house moving moving back to mum's I'm just in a really chilled energy or if it's that I'm deflated or if it's just that like I'm not wowed I can't put my finger on it it is a little bit overwhelming and, and I have to say my anxiety is like it's not been high, but she's been, she's just been like this. She's just been bubbling because I've obviously been living in a house in like a rural area for five years, very quiet market town. And then putting myself in a big city environment where there's so many people, like everybody's like working and everyone's around. It's a lot of hustle and bustle. I don't know if it's just maybe a little bit overwhelming. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. So I've viewed two and definitely it's this type that I want if I did move here. Um, but I'm gonna have a look at other options as well because I think it doesn't hurt to just look. Um, so that's a little update on the apartment side of things. In other news guys, if you did not jump on the Sheen like game, I think it's still on right now. I don't know when it's gonna end. I've had 450 pounds worth of vouchers, credits in my Sheen account from playing this game. Honestly, like I'm struggling to buy things with it. So I've asked my family if they need anything. And then I think if I've got like leftover, I might get some clubs that maybe I could donate somewhere or to like a women's shelter or to charity shops, wherever. Um, because yeah, that is so much money. Like, and it's so hard to spend it on somewhere like Sheen. Um, so I've just got like loads of essentials that I need, even things like laptop stands. I'm gonna do a huge haul with everything that I get. I'm gonna do that as a separate video. Happy Friday, guys. Um, so today, 
Um, but me and Lucy had a case of miscommunication. I was actually up for three hours, and Lucy thought I was having a lion, but I actually was sat in here. I just was silent. I don't know how to use the TV, so like, it is silent. Nah, that's crazy. But we've just been to the gym. It's now lunchtime. This burn on my head I did the other day, and it's actually quite bad. So yeah. But I've just got a coffee from my favourite coffee place downstairs. What's it called? Atomica. It's lovely. But yeah. What's our plan today? Chill. Spa, and I've got a Spanish lesson, and I'll do a bit of work, and then Phoenix. And watch my hair. So. I'm gonna. Drying. Can we can we bring the shampoo and conditioner down? Or do they have it downstairs? They have it. It's not. Can we bring some downstairs? Your Dyson. So once. Nah, that was so long ago. How long ago? Two and a half. Two years ago. No, you were like you were settled, weren't you? Like that house. You were married, like in a house with a Dyson air wrap. And a Dyson. <laughs> Aw. Um. What was I gonna say? Yes, yeah, so we've done the gym. We're now gonna have some lunch. We're gonna go back down and use the spa. Um. And then. Don't know what else. Spanish lesson, wash our hair. Now, should I just say to my friend who wants to learn Spanish just for this one lesson and you just sit next to me? I'll say, no habla espanol. That's what Spanish lesson is Now, we actually got a good selection of stuff. Hi, guys. We've just come back. What was that? We've just come back from um, shopping and we've got some bits for. We've got some bits for margaritas. Lucy's got this cutie, cutie, cutie. We've got some soup, which we're absolutely not gonna eat. I've been thinking about it all day. I've been thinking, I need to get soup for me and Jess so she can get fed. <laughs> because it's out of her window. We've got tequila. Now this is actually Friday Lime night. juice. It's Friday night. De Serrano. More. Yeah, more tequila. Lucy's got chilies for the margaritas, but I don't want any. But she's gonna give me them anyway. What's this? Bitters. Bitters. Because Lucy's bitter. Um triple sec liqueur. Which one's this? Oh citrus, okay. You got your soup as well. Then we got some grape juice and no, grapefruit juice and mango juice. Some honey and some jalapenos. Wow. And then Lucy got loads from Home Sex. I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> Lucy got- Yeah, you can't forget the limes. Oh my God. Guys, watch me juggle. Please don't drop them, because they, like, think about the story. I've talking. never juggled before. So do, if you do it with tip. No, what's happened to me under the fridge? Do, no, no, watch, no, watch, watch. If you do it with two, you can learn how to do it like this. And then all you need to I've do. I've had clowns in the past trying to teach me doing it fairs and stuff. I just don't get it. And then <laughs> pink grapefruit margaritas. Lucy got loads of bits, but and then she'll want to do one hole in her book. So I'll show you everything. Should I start a vlog from today? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I'm literally giving like Cruella Deville. Look at my outfit. I'm literally giving like evil a villain. Good morning guys. Happy Saturday. I'm actually spending a day solo today. So Lucy is in London. Let me get you where you can actually see me. Lucy is in London today. So I am gonna have a little solo day to myself. Will you bounce here? Um it's currently 11.25. I have been procrastinating. I don't know what it is. I think it's because I'm in a city. Like the thought of going out and doing things. Like, I don't know, I'm just, a, I think I'm a bit nervous. Um, but that's okay, we're pushing ourselves. 
Um, and I think like spending the day alone in Manchester will do me some good as well because like I need to explore so I'm gonna like walk and find my bearings find out where I'm gonna go I think I need to grab some breakfast um so I'm gonna grab a coffee from downstairs in these apartments and then yeah maybe do some shopping I think maybe we should do a little shopping so yeah that is the plan we went to Phoenix last night although it was a little bit of a disaster, nothing to do with Phoenix at all. Just this random man that just decided to join our table and just cause havoc. Um, so yeah, but the food was amazing, the interior was amazing, oh my gosh. Like, it's so nice, I wanna go back, like when it's just me and Luce. Um, and then we just went to Revs to Cuba for a couple of hours, but I think I got to that stage where like, because of the kerfuffle in the restaurant beforehand, I was just like, you know when you just can't get like really drunk, like I was enjoying the music, I was enjoying the vibes, but yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't quite the night out I would normally have, but yeah, but I'm not feeling hungover today, which is really, really good. I have had some water, we're going to go get a coffee, and we're going to go start the day. So I'm going to bring you guys along on my little solo day. a little haul from everything that I picked up because I decided to treat myself and I was going to treat myself a little bit more but I don't know what it is I'm struggling to spend like too much money at the moment I feel like when you go with the intention to spend money you don't always find things to spend your money on and all of this has been like very well thought through purchases things that I've seen a few times and wanted to try so First up is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. This was £67 and I'm not gonna lie for the tub that it is, I think that's really, really good. The tester was only 10 milliliters and that was 27, I think. So it just made so much more sense to go for a bigger size. And I'm really, really excited to try this because I think, is this Japanese skincare? It's meant to be really, really good, Japanese and Korean skincare. So I'm very excited to try. Also picked up a little glow screen as well. I do actually have a glow screen already. I love it. It's my Ride or Die SPF. And if I could get you on one product, it would be this. It makes your skin look like a glazed donut. You look like glass. I honestly, and it's an SPF. This one was £17.50. So I would definitely recommend getting that. I also got the detox shampoo as well because I used this yesterday and it was incredible. And it's really good if you have like product build up, um, which I definitely do just from like, whether it's dry shampoo, um, spray, whatever it might be, pomade. It's really, really good just to like clarify your hair. Um, and I think I'm gonna use this like every third or fourth hair wash just to really, really clean the hair. Then I also got the hair oil to try. Um, I was going to get the full size, but I just feel like this is good just to try it out because I've never used it before. So I got this one. I think that was £14 or £17. Then I got the Ren um, Glow Tonic. I've never ever used this, but I've heard so many good reviews about it. So I picked that one up to try. And that one was £17 for the small one. And then this was crazy. So I actually nearly bought this product and I put it back. I don't know if he saw me looking at it, he, but he acted shocked when I told him. So I think this was genuinely manifestation at its finest. I was gonna buy this product and I thought, it was like 32 pounds for the scalp scrub. And I just thought, I don't really wanna commit to it if I don't know it's good. He threw in a tester for me. I could not, you couldn't write it. I literally was like, no way. So yeah, I've got a little tester of the scalp and body scrub, which I'm very excited for because I do get a real build up on my scalp. So hopefully that'll be a nice exfoliation for my head. And then I just picked up the Refi Duo brush. I've wanted to try it for so long, but I never have. And I thought if I'm getting a Duo brush, I need like products so i got the blusher in malaya which is such a gorgeous like deeper like rosy taupey blush which i just think is really nice for like a subtle blush and then i got the bronzer in tan because i asked the lady and she thought that one would be best so i picked them up and i'm really really happy with what i got i definitely 
was gonna buy perfume de Mali. I was very, very close to the Delina exclusive. Um, I know it's really, really popular now, but me and mom actually smelled that like maybe three years ago. Um, and then my mom actually got it and she's used that as a perfume for a while now. And I've just never treated myself to it, but it's such a beautiful like feminine scent and it just makes you feel like really girly and yeah. I think I might treat myself to it when I find the apartment and move to Manchester. Um, but until then, I've got my testers. My mum did buy me like all the testers for Christmas. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a Pepsi Max. I had a lovely, lovely solo day in the restaurant. Um, I literally put my phone on charge, had my meal, read my book without my phone, and it was so nice. I felt a little bit overwhelmed and anxious. I'm not gonna lie since being in Manchester. And I don't know if it's because it's a city and the energy is obviously very different to what I'm used to, which is like the countryside, where I can run an errand and not bump into like anyone. It's very quiet. Um, but I've definitely like settled myself into it now, like by pushing myself on a solo day. Um, but yeah, I definitely, I don't know what it is. I'm not like super, super excited at the thought of moving here. And I don't know whether that is like a warning sign. Um, but yeah, cause I love the apartment. Like I love this apartment so much. I feel like it's so nice, but I just need to sit and think on it a little bit. I don't know if it's because I've just literally moved out of my house and the thought of like then going to something else right now. I just want maybe some breathing space, but yeah, that's where we're at at the moment. So I'm going to have a Pepsi Max. Might have a little bit of chocolate and just chill because I feel like I've been a little bit busy today. Um, so yeah, I'll pick you guys up soon. So just got a little Uber Eats. I'm still in on my own because I think Lucy's train's been delayed. So I've got a wrap and some chips. Although I have just looked and I don't think Lucy has any sauce, which is great. But that's okay. Oh, they look nice. And then I'm gonna have a Pepsi Max and pop some Netflix on.